In my undergraduate studies, my academic major was anthropology. Later, I completed a master's degree in the same field. For over 40 years, I have continued to study human cultures. One conclusion is inevitable. Marriage between a man and a woman is the foundation of all human societies. The reality is that when children become adults, most of them will get married. In the United States, each year there are over two million marriages. That is, four million people who are saying, I do, to the question, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, or will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? Almost all these couples anticipate living happily ever after. No one gets married hoping to be miserable or to make their spouse miserable. Yet we all know that the divorce rate in Western cultures continues to hover around 50%, and the highest percentage of divorces occur within the first seven years of marriage. People do not get married planning to divorce. Divorce is the result of a lack of preparation for marriage, and the failure to learn the skills of working together as teammates in an intimate relationship. What is ironic is that we all recognize the need for education in all other pursuits of life and fail to recognize that need when it comes to marriage. Most people spend far more time in preparation for their vocation than they do in preparation for marriage. Therefore, it should not be surprising that they are more successful in their vocational pursuits than they are in reaching the goal of marital happiness. The decision to get married will impact one's life more deeply than almost any decision in life. Yet, people continue to rush into marriage with little or no preparation for making a marriage successful. In fact, many couples give far more attention to making plans for the wedding than making plans for marriage. The wedding festivities last only a few hours, while the marriage, we hope, will last for a lifetime. This is not a book on how to plan a wedding. This is a book on how to have a successful marriage. I've spent the last 35 years of my life counseling with couples whose dreams of a happy marriage have been shattered in the real world of dirty dishes, unpaid bills, conflicting work schedules, and crying babies. With hard work and months of counseling, many of these couples have gone on to have good marriages. For that, I am grateful. It is my conviction that many of these struggles could have been avoided had the couple taken time to prepare more thoroughly for marriage. That is why I am writing this book. I want you to learn from their mistakes. It is much less painful than learning from your own mistakes. I want you to have the kind of loving, supportive, mutually beneficial marriage that you envision. However, I can assure you that kind of marriage will not happen simply because you get married. You must take time to discover and practice the proven marital guidelines that make such a marriage possible. For the individual who is not in a dating relationship and has no immediate prospects of marriage, the book will provide a blueprint on moving from singleness to marriage. For the couple who is dating but not yet engaged, it will help you decide if and when to announce your plans to get married. For the engaged couple, it will help you examine the foundation and learn the skills that are necessary for building a successful marriage. As I look back over the early years of my marriage, I wish someone had told me what I am about to tell you. I honestly think I would have listened. However, in my generation, the concept of preparation for marriage did not exist. I'm hoping that my openness about my own marriage will help you avoid some of the pain and frustration that Carolyn and I experienced. This is not a book simply to be read. It is a book to be experienced. The more you grapple with the realities discussed in the following pages and share honestly your thoughts and feelings on these topics, respect each other's opinions, and find workable solutions to your differences, to that degree you will be prepared for marriage. To the degree that you ignore these issues and choose to believe that the euphoric feelings that you have for each other will carry you through, you set yourself up for failure. It is my desire that you will prepare for your marriage as though it were the most important human relationship you will ever have. If you give it your full and best attention, 
you will be on the road to seeing your dreams of marital happiness come true. I'd like to invite you to visit startmarriageright.com, where you'll find a variety of helpful resources both for preparing for marriage and building a successful, lifelong marriage. Most of these resources are free, so I hope that you'll check it out. And remember, your wedding day is just the beginning.